Okay, so we have our moulding cut and we have our pattern made. What we need next is to make the pattern into a jig. So measure the angle here and then set your saw with that angle. It's all written on the plan so you, you, you don't have to worry about uh, what that is. Set your, that up as, as accurate as, as you can and then cross cut your moulding with that angle on it. There. When you do, do, a, do one or two to test them and then what you have to do next is lay your moulding right on the very edge of the pattern. Okay, I've clamped them in place. Now this is another time to be as accurate as possible. Make sure that the, the this runs exactly flush to the outside of your pattern. That's the corners. I've clamped them in position now so you, they won't move. And that gives you uh, the, the start of your pattern. Again, check everything all the way around to make sure that uh, it's all completely flush with the outside of your pattern. Next, you need to fix a square section of timber like this to the inside touching here. Like that. Then you fix this to the pattern. We've done that now. Make sure that it fits nice and snugly all the way around the pattern. And that's all fixed to there. So now we can take this off. And we're left with a square section fitted onto our pattern. That makes the jig. Trim these edges. Be careful, make sure that your, your saw runs parallel with this and that it, the, obviously the outside angle is there. Nice and flush. Same here. We know that it's an isosceles triangle, so these sides are equal and this is slightly smaller. Flip it over and put it back on the, on the pan. Now if it doesn't go on, or it will just, just nice and tight all the way around. That's perfect. bit of uh, tube do here it's about half this thick because this actually doesn't matter how thick this is because it works whatever size timber you use what you do is you cut it with a point on one end flat on the other and you just insert it in there line it up I have a little mark so it's in the middle what we do 
that's then got a, a stud down the middle of our triangle. I'm going to screw that in. I'll show you on this one. We screw that in to the end with screws. Keep away from the centre because you're going, we're going to, what we're going to do next is we just put it on the saw bench and cut it down the centre. That way we get a left hand and a right hand of a half pentagon. Simple. It is We fix the frame together. Uh, let me show you. There's a screw here. So we, we've screwed the single triangles together. These two sections together, these two sections together to form. Um, this looks a little bit like a half hex. It's actually not, but it's close. Uh, and then we cover the whole structure. You can see that from the top, that's the curvature that we get for our dome. And you can see the film's covered here. It's nice and tight. And all, all we've done is we've pulled it over the sides. Let me see if I can get a view here for you. And stapled it to the edge. Like that. Now later when we join these together, we simply put a piece of put some a, a run of silicon along here, cramp this cramp two together, nip them up, and then clean the silicon off the outside. That, uh, but this method minimizes your joints. Obviously, that's got there's no joint there that runs straight over the strut. But that's your that's your polythene covering. Right, um, we're going to do the base for the GD5 now. Uh, this is the uh, plan of the base. What you've got here is it'll give you measurements at the top and measurements at the thin end. So it's square here and there's this angle cut. We'll cut that first. What I've done is I've marked it uh, on, my, on my piece of wood. I've got a piece of wood that's a bit thicker and uh, so I've marked it. One piece runs here and the other piece runs here by that pencil mark and I've just slid um, pushed them together so that we get two pieces out of one section of wood right I've put that through the saw saw set to the angle on the plans now I've got two pieces of wood and you'll also notice that uh, if I turn them round like that that they're a mirror image of each other so now that gives me two mirrors. On the plans it says two off plus two mirrors. So we need to make two sets of those. Uh, I've marked the set, second set here and I'm just going to put that through the saw now. Okay, we've, we've got one here, as you can see here. That's the thin end. We've cut it and joined them together. You get one big one and one short one. But as you can see from here, all I've done is I've cut one joint there. The, the, it just runs straight past. So then what we do is look down in here, get this, put the saw in there, mark that straight and cut that off by hand. That way the base ends up exactly the same height as the triangle above it. So you, you, you don't have to do fine measurements or anything like that. Here's the one I've done. Looks like this. That was the spare bit. Cut that off, and it's cut off at the same angle as this this top piece of triangle. But that then gets fixed on there, and that's ready to put together. Okay, now we've cut both ends off, uh, and we, we end up with two left hand and two right hand. I'll show you. This here is a half pentagon, and this one here is a half equilateral. 
Uh, you can see that this the one behind, the equilaterals here, and the pentagons here. So these are mirror images. You need two sets of mirror images and one set of the two hexagons joined together. Once you've got that, you can now put the whole lot together. We have the two uh, pentagon, half pentagons at the bottom, touching, half uh, equilateral there, and a half equilateral there, and the pentagon slots in there. And that gives you the base. When we join these ones up, we'll have two bases the same as that. The door goes on here, and the back of the, do the dome goes on there. So that's pretty much half of the dome base, except for the back section. Okay, this is the door. Um, in the plans, the only measurements we give you on in the plans are the width of the total width and the total height. Uh, what you need to do is, um, with the well, the reason we do that is uh, this thickness can vary depending on where you get your wood in and, and which country. So if I give internal measurements, they will be different every time you make it. So I've given you the external measurements. All you need to do is cut two lengths for the sides. The height measurements marked, cut them off. And this is cut uh, the same as the width minus twice that. So measure that times by two and then take cut these to that measurement. Uh, when you've done that, you'll need to make a couple of inserts. These are just made out of two by one. Uh, again, measure the inside, and that becomes the outside measurement of here. And it should just be a, a snug fit, uh, like that. Just a, a little tiny gap round the side to get the plastic in. And that's it, really. Okay, we have all the basic panels made now. Uh, I'll run you through a list of uh, everything that needs to be made. Right, we have six of these. Uh, you can see that it's a pentagon there. All of those are pent triangles. And that one on the end, that's a equilateral. Uh, you need six of those. Next is these, which are the door, go, these go beside the door. And this is, again, it's another pentagon, but it's been cut through here to form the door. So that's two standard pentagons cut down. Next, we need four equilaterals. That's for little random spaces. These are two pentagon triangles, just two triangles joined together. This That touches on the base, and that gets you your base started. Right, these are your base ones, with your, um, we've got four, two left-handed, two right-handed, 